Upgrading the firmware on your topographic delay is super easy. All you have to do is go to our website, formscompany.com, click on the topographic delay, click on firmwares, and download the WAV file for the firmware version you want to upgrade to. Now, don't play it through your headphones or speakers because it's super loud and kind of obnoxious. Anyways, download the file, get it ready to play, then power off your system, hold down these two buttons at the bottom of the TAPO, and power it back on. You'll see that you're in bootloader mode because these three lights will turn on red flashing. Now take your phone or your computer, get the file ready to play, and plug an ordinary mono jack into the audio input. Okay, now make sure your level is down because it's going to be loud, and just press play. You want four lights on. You want three green and a yellow light on, ideally. If your level is too loud or too quiet, you can adjust this knob, the level knob, to get the right level. You might have an error if you have too many lights on or not enough. What happens if you have an error? What if you accidentally unplug or something? Well, it's easy. You didn't brick your unit. It's OK. All the lights will flash red at the top. To start over, to repeat, hit the repeat button. Now you'll see these bottom three lights are flashing again. This means you can try again. So let's try again. I'm going to pause, rewind back to the start, plug back in, and press play. And there we go. When it's done, you'll see the, f the file will stop playing through the audio, and it will return back to normal mode. You can press a button, and a topography will be loaded. Go ahead and unplug your phone or computer. Now, how do you tell what ver firmware version you have? Well, the easiest way is to see if the clock quantization feature is enabled on the firmware you have. To do that, just take a clock. Here I have a DLD clock output, and plug it into the X clock input. If the delete button turns blue, then you have firmware version 1.1. If the, the delete button doesn't turn blue, that is if it just stays off, then you have firmware version 1.0. Remember though, if you're in sync mode, the delete button won't turn blue. So if it's red, hold it down to make it go blue or off. Okay, that's it. Have fun.